Hey guys, welcome back. The plugin we are looking at today is Diagram. So it's D A I, not D I A. So just make sure you spell it right. So it's Diagram. You can build charts, graphs, and many more using this ChatGPT plugin. So let's look at how you can do this. So basically, the first thing what this plugin can do is it is used to create a visual representation of data in various forms of charts and graphs and here's a brief how you can use it so we won't be going into the complex uh, nesting levels i would be representing a bar chart and a pie chart but you could also do this so you could specify the nesting level this is an array where element represents a lot of nesting in the data and each level has a name label and a category in that level and an aggregator function so the aggregator function it supports are sum median mean first last count min and max and data is something you can specify um, copy paste it from your excel or if you are using any third party data sources you can do that i'll show you how you can do that and the view is uh, the title you want for your chart and the type of chart you want this is these are the type of charts it support it supports a pie chart donut chart line chart area chart stacked area chart bar chart and a stacked bar graphs notes so this is where you can additional note or comment about your graphs so let's look at this one so the first prompt you can need to do is uh, create a bar chart of your topic from this data and you can copy paste it so if you do this uh, let me go here let me just copy paste the prompt give me a minute okay so this is the data and the data i'm getting it is from here so if you click on this this is the data you should have access to this in the description so you have the data here this is what i just condensed it uh, into uh, here so this is the data i would be providing as an input so it has country gdp and it has uh, the uh, data of 10 economies basically so let's see what it does for us as you can see here it will give you a chart and it's an interactive chart if you click on the link at the bottom and you could also save that chart if you want it for some reference later on so the input to this is basically it's uh, the name is country it took the labels and it also took the data and the title it gave was gdp by country if you want to change it you can change it notes is data in trillions so it gave you the bar chart if you think this is not uh, readable for you you can click on this so you would get an actual chart and if you right click it you can save it as an svg jpeg or a gif whatever you want you can save this and you can use it in your presentation so that's the first one and similarly let me go into the second one here which is if you want to create a pie chart I've taken the GDP of uh, I've taken the current inflation of, of for 2023 from five top countries and that's basically what I've covered and if you think you can fit more countries in your pie chart you can uh, you are free to try it out for the purpose of my demo I've only taken five countries here so I did not take uh, more than five as it would be harder to represent it so all you have to do is basically create a pie chart for this following data uh, for this data and you can call it title inflation for 2023 so if i say this it is going to give you the title as inflation for 2023 underneath and you can see the country it took the data and yeah it took inflation for 2023 if you want to overwrite the notes outside of default data you are free to do it and again you can click on this link it will show you a complete interactive chart which you can download it as an svg and use it in your presentation so that's all i had here and i hope this helps 
थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग